Good morning. Lovely day again today. Gonna head down along the seawall. Nothing flash, nothing special, nothing complicated. Just a nice simple wall walk. Um, no real time constraints today, but I do have a few things I want to try and get on with, so I'm not gonna stay out forever. All good. Anyway, gonna walk up through the start of Mules Park and see what's happening up there with all the works they were doing. Works down here are still on obviously, but that is supposed to be until the 2nd of February, so can't really complain about that. Entrance to the cliff den, the gates. This is the garden part. Very nice in there. You'd have fates in there when I was a lot younger. It's like a special event. These gates open and you could go in almost like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. And they'd be all fairground rides and stuff, or, you know, as I saw them. Probably little coconut shies and that, but, you know, it was a big deal. Anyway, into Mules Park. Mules Park, given to Timothy in memory of Dr. Bertha M. Mules and Roderick J. Mules, 1989. Well, the footpath is still closed, but the barriers are down. So I'm going to be a naughty boy, have a peep. Well, that's all there is to see, really. Um, that's a new wall there, I think, on the right. Pretty sure the fence is all new. Big tree stump there in the middle. That fence over there at the back is the top of the cliffs. They're just clearing an area. But in fairness, they just seem to have made a bit of a meal of it. I suppose we'll find out what it is one day. First train of the day. Lovely. One of the iconic shots of Timmouth. Extra bonus. Observations deck is open. Fully open today, both doors pulled right back, both gates I should say. Normally then they open it, they just put one and they just have it open enough for you to sneak through. But today it is open, open. I will never get tired of this view. And I will never get tired of walking on that sea wall. So, without further ado, let's get walking. Love the sound of the waves. That's one of the houses at the top of the cliff, halfway along, that you don't normally see because all the leaves are on the trees and the undergrowth is higher. But it's visible today. I'll zoom out and give you a location so you know where I'm to, I am. I kind of suspect that some kids are planning a bonfire here.
enjoyed that. Time to walk back. house up there, where we appear to be doing houses at the top of the cliffs in this video, is Dingley Dell. And that's the house that has the path that leads down to the new crossing. Like I say, these are not normally visible houses, so it's just strange to suddenly see them. The mesh on the cliffs seems particularly prominent today. Obviously it's not fresh, I don't think, but I think it must be the way the sun's hitting it. It's very noticeable today. Doggy saw the train off. Well done, Doggy. Got a couple of Bostons down there. Oh, that one's doing something, yeah. And there's that one there, a Brindle. Love Bostons, favorite dog. Well, that was the seawall, not bad. Saw some houses up the top I don't normally see. A long distance crossover with two trains. And some Boston Terriers. Let's see what I can see on the seafront. Made me jump, that did. I think I'll call it a day down here before I end up soaked.
there we go. End of today's walk. Enjoyed that. Not a great deal happened, but I had a nice time anyway. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Thanks for subscribing. Take care. Bye.